Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario 64 DS. In the last episode, we got a bunch of stars over at Shifting Sandland. And in this episode, we're going to be getting the final star in Shifting Sandland, which is, well, the 100 coin mission. Now, some might question why I haven't done this already and why I didn't do this alongside another mission like I usually do, because aside from, I think, one level, I've always done this alongside another mission. The uh, reason for that is that in the red coin mission, I only had 20 coins at the end of it, plus on top of that, the red coin star appears outside the pyramid, and I would want to get a bunch of the coins that are inside the pyramid because there's stuff like a blue switch in there. So I kind of can't go get the red coin star and get the 100 coin star all at one time. So that's kind of my reasoning here. That and Shifting Sandlands 100 coin mission is always one of those that gave me a little bit of trouble where I wasn't really ever sure like what it was I should do to do it efficiently. So it's kind of a combination of me kind of being a little bit unsure about what's the best way to do it and the fact that I couldn't really do it alongside the um, red coin mission like I usually do. And I missed two coins already. Wonderful way to start off. So, um, a couple of tips, I suppose, with this one are that you have, I think, four pokies throughout the level. Each of them holds a blue coin. Uh, of course, you got the bombs, but they do not uh, give you coins uh, after the first defeat, so you kind of can't grind on them. Not, not really much else to say. It's all pretty basic stuff. Uh, I'd grab that one up, though, but I'm kind of nervous. So I probably won't. What do you have? Oh, wow. Okay, so there are coins there. I'm not going to go into that one with it there, so I've already missed three. But, um, yeah, we are, um, getting pretty close to the end here. And I wanted to say really quick, um, uh, last time around I did say that we were going to finish up, uh, in the basement and that we'd be done, like, this episode we were going to go to the second floor. I, well, I didn't lie, but I actually forgot about something. And I'd like to do that. That is that we never did go back and do the missions in Dire Dire Docks because we need a warrior for that as well. So we are going to be going back to Dire Dire Docks hopefully soon-ish. And can I just break this box already? Jeez. All right. Throw it at the pillar. Thank you. Give me my three coins. So uh, we got ourselves 27 coins right here. We're already doing quite a bit better than we were doing. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and switch to Mario really quick. Yeah. And what I want to do is, come on, up. All right, so here we are. I uh, finally got on top. We have ourselves a Koopa shell right here, which I actually didn't want to collect. I kind of would rather have a wing cap. Whoa, 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 what, 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 okay. That was very strange. I've never actually gotten a wing cap while having a Koopa shell before. I didn't know it acted very weird. It was really odd. Like I suddenly like lost all momentum from the Koopa shell. Like right as soon as I collected it, it was kind of odd, but. I guess it's to be expected, because they are kind of two really, really separate things. So, I'm thinking about flying around a little bit, maybe getting some more of the red coins. I don't feel like I need every red coin, though, because I know that there's quite a few coins that are over there in the, um, in the pyramid. And oh, God! No, 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 no! Um, I meant to actually bring this up! Klepto can be a bit of a jerk in this mission, because you're going to be hanging around here taking out pokies, and there's quite a few coins around here. And, uh, he can take your hat, and I went over, like, what losing your hat does last time around, and if you, wow, if you, uh, wow, um, never forget that red box, it stayed together until the very end, and it never faltered. Let's, uh, go ahead and hit you, but, uh, Klepto, it can be kind of annoying if you lose your cap in the middle of, like, a 100 coin mission, and the only way to get it back would to be, you know, to hit him again, which... Yeah, it, it can be kind of tough to hit an enemy that's flying around. At least I always had trouble hitting Klepto. I don't know if any of you did, though, but I just kind of want to say. And I, I kind of apologize that my commentary feels a little bit stale in this video, because, like, these 100 coin missions, I'll be honest, I very rarely feel like I have, like, enough stuff to talk about, because we've already seen, like, these levels, and I'm just going around collecting coins. Especially with this and, like, the Hazy Maze Cave. Like, I kind of regret making that its own video, because looking back on it, I didn't really have much to say. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oi! No, let me go. Let me go. There's money down there. I must have money. No. Okay. Well, if there's anything Mario teaches you, it's that money is the true way to being healthy. Wait. What? How did... What? Okay. How's that work? I don't get how there was randomly just a dead Goomba's Wario cap right there and then... Like, what kill? What, did the box kill it somehow? I don't know. Anyway, well, let me just, let's just go inside the pyramid. I got 50 coins. I could probably get 50 more inside the pyramid relatively quick. So, um, going through the pyramid one last time, I just kind of want to say that, you know, I, um, actually, what do I want to say? <laughs> I had it and then I lost it. Apparently I didn't want to say it that badly. 
Got 20 coins right here that are really easy to collect. That one coin in there, I believe, is a trap, because if you go in the middle of one of those sand pits, you will get squished. Well, not squished, but you'll get sucked down. Got, what is what is it that I wanted to say? I, I can't seem to remember. Uh, oh, um, yes, pea balloon. That is what I was actually wanting to bring up. Uh, pea balloon makes this a hell of a lot easier. I probably should have shown this earlier. I just didn't really think to play as Mario in these, and I just kept forgetting about it. So, at least now I can show it here. Got ourselves some easy coins. Uh, we can kind of go through the pyramid however we want if we have this. So, it, it just is kind of another way that you can use the pea balloon power from the power flower to just kind of cheat stuff. Y you know, that, that's actually one thing that I did want to talk about. There are some people that, um, you know, are always like, oh, this game is too easy and stuff like that. The thing is, I, I like my challenging games once in a while, but I'm generally into easy games quite a bit just because. You know, not everything I play has to be impossible. Sometimes I just want to play and, you know, be happy. And I think I talked about this quite a bit in Kirby's Epic Yarn, saying that that's one of my favorite games. But, you know, I always see those people saying, like, oh, that game's terrible because it's easy. It's like, a game can have good level design and be easy. A game can have fun mechanics and be easy. And, you know, shouldn't let difficulty be the reason, difficulty be the reason why you don't like games. I mean, like I said, I, I enjoy fighting my super bosses in Xenoblade as much as the next person, but... <laughs> Well, actually, I have never fought the super bosses in that game, but that's for another day. Um, but, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. I like playing my Owen oh, Dawn in insane mode some days. I like doing stuff like that, though, but not every day. I'm kind of one of those people who likes to relax with easy games at the end of the day. But, yeah, I see some people say that, like, Mario 64 is, like, you know, really easy. Say, you know what? That's one thing. Some people say that, like, every Mario game is too easy, like, when it comes out. And it's just, like, you know... I never really, easy was never really too much of a deal breaker for me. I mean, granted, I suppose there are some where you're, like, disappointed, like, with, you know, hoping there's going to be a chow, and I just thought that I was going to get killed there instantly because I got crushed. Um, that's actually another thing. I, I guess on the subject of, like, Mario games and stuff like that, and just kind of things I generally disagree with is, I always, like, see people, like, I, I personally knew a lot of people that said this, um, that, like, Mario 3D Land is, like, such a short game, and they beat it in, like, two hours, 100%. And what I want to know is, what game were they playing? With all, like, the special worlds and all that, that did not take two hours. <laughs> like, being honest, I've never actually seen the true final level in 3D Land, just because there's so much you have to do, like, with all the flagpoles and everything. But, um, anyway, I will quit this rant right here. Let me go ahead and collect our 100 coin star. I do not want to save. Instead, I would like to exit the course. All right, we're going to go and switch to Wario now. We're going to hop into Dire Dire Docks, or rather, kick our way through the water. And get ourselves through the jet stream. Here we go, as Wario says. Okay. So, first off in Dire Dire Docks, the elephant in the room right here is that we have these three big brick blocks that Wario can break and no one else can. And hurry up and get up the slope! God! Oh my god, Wario, you are so slow. Just like, I mean, I only got one of those coins because I couldn't. Coins? Because I could. Okay, look at that. He's not even running up. He's running back to <sighs> Wario. Wario. Uh, Wario. Oh wow. Um. Well, I revealed one of the future missions right here. I kind of just wanted to go here and get stuff, but okay. I guess that works too. So um, swimming through Dire Dire Docks. I, I will say this. One thing that was always kind of weird to me that always stood out is the fact that you have like these manta rays, sharks, and just various creatures like that. You have, you know. In, in the original game, you had some Bubba's and not Cheap Cheap's, and it's just... With stuff like that, it's just kind of one of those things where I've always thought that it was, you know, a little unusual. And can I get over here? God. All right. It's one of those things I always thought was really unusual about this level, and Wario, I know that you're a fat man, but can you swim a little bit faster? I don't remember you being this slow. Oh, man. Wario. You are a less effective swimmer than the protagonist in Pokemon. And that's pretty bad. Will you just get us there? I don't remember it being this slow. Like, I really don't. It's holding on B. No, that. Oh my. That is so slow. Wario. I, I. I like you, Wario. I really do. But. This is. This is unbelievable. Like, this is... You move slower than freaking... Ah, uh, I promised John I wouldn't make any more jokes about his upload schedule. <laughs> okay. But let's get over there and get our Metal K. 
cap or power flower, whatever. And now, how about... You know what's even bad about Wario? You know how slow he is? Look at this. A Fet Tubbillard made entirely of metal, you think he would sink a lot faster than that. At least I think he would. So what you want to do is you want to go here to the jet stream. You want to be in the center. You want to let these rings come up, and you want to do this five times consecutively. You can do this without the metal cap if you are skilled, but if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, you need Wario. Now, as much as I would like to drop Wario quicker than he realistically should be dropping in water when he's made of metal, we need him for the next mission, Koopa Servant Switch Star, which was the one that I accidentally spoiled last time around. Okay. So, this mission is really, really simple. All you need to do is go over here, as slow as Wario may be, you want to break this block right here, you want to hit this to bring out that Koopa Shell, step on the Switch Star, and then you just need to surf over there on the Koopa Shell because Wario is too dang slow to be able to do it normally. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could probably switch to Luigi and get the job done! Probably not, actually, because I- Whoa, I'm phasing through the floor! I don't know why I got so excited about phasing through the floor. It's not that exciting. I guess I'm just an excitable person. All right, I'm curious what mission is up next and if I can finally drop Wario. Let's see. Okay, the very next mission is going to have us playing as Luigi. But as much as I hate to say it, I think that we should end this off here because, well, we finished up shifting Sandland. We did a couple of missions here at Dire Dire Docks. And I think the next couple of missions in Dire Dire Docks that we have left to do are going to take a little while. So as much as I'd like to get it wrapped up in this video, we still have to do the 100 coins. We still have, I think, two more regular missions to do. So next time on Super Mario 64 DS, we'll be doing that. But that's not all. We will also be doing another little area that some of you guys have been reminding me about that I forgot to revisit before. And Luigi, don't fall asleep with me during my outro. See you guys then.